And yes, this is still a very active investigation. Lives were lost and hundreds were injured after that Amtrak train went off the railroad tracks. Now, investigators are trying to find out how all of this happened to begin with. And out here live on the scene, you can see that the sheriff vehicles are actually blocking where the train is with the flashing lights there. So where I am is as close as I can physically get you to the scene this morning. Well, you got to keep coming because you don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> Finding the ring here at the park, Smith took to Facebook to explain what happened in hopes of finding the owner. Good morning. You know, here at Orange Theory, we don't need much motivation to get going on those resolutions, especially when it comes to health. USA.gov actually says the top resolutions for 2018, managing stress, losing weight, eating healthy. So rightfully so that we're at the gym. The National Weather Service believes that it was a tornado that hit Spartanburg County. And the aftermath that we're seeing, it looks like something out of a movie. Take a look out here. We're at Penske truck rental and here is where you can see in Spartanburg County semi trucks overturned by the heavy winds. You can literally feel the heat from the flames here at this mulch fire. We're here on Beverly Road. Very dark clouds above us. This is what we've been expecting. Heavy rains, flash flooding, a lot of wind which we're starting to feel as well. We haven't seen any signs of rain here. What we do notice is that the wind is starting to pick up just here on the strip. We're near Folly Beach. You can see that businesses have been boarding up their windows and also placing sandbags like this. This is one of the areas that was affected in Charlotte as a result of the protest. This shop here behind me, you can see that the glass was broken through. Products are displaced on the floor. We've even seen Black Lives Matter written in like black spray paint. We are seeing what's left behind from that bus fire here. Broken glass and the roof burned completely. Even on the inside, you can see burned seats and ash where the children once were. I heard some kids screaming and I looked out the window and all I saw was the bus on fire. Rosie Jean and David Porter saw this school bus engulfed in flames and managed to record it all on their cell phone. You could feel the heat from across the street, so we had no idea if they were still on there or off there. The bus was carrying 56 students to take to four different schools in Spartanburg County. School officials tell us that two students seated in the back of the bus told the bus driver they smelled smoke. I was expecting to see just a little bit of char on the back of the bus. When I pulled up on the scene and saw this, my heart dropped. After students alerted the bus driver, she sprang into action to get the kids to safety. She did exactly what she had been trained to do in terms of evacuating those students and looking out for their safety. The bus driver, Teresa Strobel, managed to get all 56 students off the bus and down South Moore Street in Duncan to safety. She evacuated those 56 students in less than a minute. Teresa Strobel is being called a hero for her actions and has served as a bus driver for 10 years to date. In Duncan, Aubrey Jackson, WYFF News 4.